Mm. He, in fact, I had uh, something happen today. It didn't happen directly to me, but someone called me and they've been walking through this something. And they were really despondent. They're Christians. And uh, all of a sudden, um, she called me today and she said, you're not going to believe this. And God had brought that situation around mm -hmm. to another thing. And she said, I couldn't have orchestrated this mm -hmm. if I had to laid it out. Mm -hmm. And I said, you're right, because God says the plans, like you said, mm -hmm. the purposes I have for you yeah. is bring you hope and a good yes. future. Yes. Amen. Yes. Mm -hmm. And this is what, when I go through what I go through, mm -hmm. I have to sit back and I'm say, God, I don't like what I'm going through, mm -hmm. but I'll tell you one thing, when I get finished going through this, I'm going to look back and I'm going to thank you for allowing me to go through mm -hmm. this because that just makes me know that I can trust you mm -hmm. in every situation yes. and that your love for me is greater than what my battle is right now. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and that's so true, Marsha, that is so, so true that when we think about God's love and we think about his mercy even though we may be going through a situation and a problem but God has not left us Amen. he is right there he's right there with us and he's going to see us through and and that's the that's the hope mm -hmm. and that's the joy mm -hmm. you know that anybody that's listening to us today that even though you may be depressed may be going through and saying well how can I come out of this here you can come at it with the Lord Jesus. Oh, because <laughs> the book of Isaiah, chapter 43, is what yes. pulled me through with my husband when he was sick and in a nursing home and all, is that when you go through the fire, you're not going to be burned. Yes. You go through the water, you're not going to be consumed. You're not mm -hmm. going to drown. That's right. Why? Because I am the Lord thy God, God. of mm -hmm. Israel, mm -hmm. and I'm going to be with you. Yes. I mean, that's our hope. That's, that's, that's our it. promise. That's yeah. it. Yeah. And, and right now, like you say, in the holiday season, you brought up something. They might not have the money or the situation to provide for their families as yes. they're used to being provision. Mm -hmm. And that is devastating, especially for a family. Yes. That the way they used to live mm -hmm. cannot be right now. So... Mm -hmm. They're going through like, what am I going to do? Yes. They're going through a depression now, mm -hmm. yeah. you know, already. And what they're looking to <clears throat> is the future. Mm -hmm. They look back to the past. They're looking to their future like how, and that brings fear. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That will bring fear in, into everything. Mm -hmm. and, and fear is, comes to torment us. The mm -hmm. spirit of fear, mm -hmm. there is a spirit of fear that yes. torments us. The Bible yes. says, the Bible calls it a spirit of fear and it torments us. Yes. It torments us. Well, Satan doesn't want you to believe in God. He That's wants right. you to believe he doesn't exist. That's mm -hmm. right. Mm -hmm. And he wants you to believe that God cannot handle your problems. That's and he wants right. you to believe, like you said, you were mad at God. Right. And he wants you to believe that God doesn't care for you. Exactly. That's right. So depression at, th at this time in anybody's life, there's only only one thing that we can say, and we've all said it, that it's Jesus Christ will bring them out. Yes. And I think God will get us to a certain point. He will allow us to go through depression. King David went through depression, yes. remember? Mm -hmm. And what mm -hmm. I think was so good, remember when he was in the cave? Mm -hmm. And what does the Bible say? The depressed, mm -hmm. the downhearted, the people that were, the, were in debt the most, mm -hmm. did they not all run into that cave with King David? Mm -hmm. And here he was depressed. He was running, <laughs> trying Trying to get away from Saul, running from everything, and he was the greatest king there ever lived, and yet he suffered depression. And then it's like a birds of a feather flock together. Mm -hmm. They all came in. Yeah. Yeah. But if you read on what they went through, the Bible said they became the mighty men mm -hmm. of David. Yeah. So yes. we can turn depression around. Mm -hmm. If you want to say, bring it on, just bring it on. Yeah. Because when I get finished with this, yeah. when you get finished trying to depress me, I'm going to come through this and it's going to make me stronger before because I choose to let God work stuff out in me. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. um, Talking about turning things around, I don't know if this relates too much to it or not, but the story that, uh, the experience that I had when I was a little girl, I was about 10, 11 years old. Uh, you know, in our home, we always had a Christmas tree, whether big or small, but we always had a tree. And it was a delight, you know, a child's delight, mm -hmm. especially live trees. 
um, when we'd whisk by, you know, the aroma of that pine. Mm -hmm. it, sometimes I'll walk through some area, forested area, and I'll smell that, and immediately my mind goes to my childhood. Well, this was uh, during the war years, World War II, and um, my mom said to me, we're not going to be able to have a tree. And, well, man, no tree. I mean, that's <laughs> devastating <laughs> to a yeah, child. child. Yeah. It affected my mother. It, it bothered her, and she said, now how can I turn this around? So she said, we're going shopping. A couple of days later, we went, it, was, it was December, we, we're going shopping. And where we lived, down the street, uh, several blocks down, you come into the shopping area, and on the corner, they, it, it's a store that empties out. It's, it's a seasonal store. And now they're having Christmas trees, and we're heading right for it. And I'm thinking, oh, Mom's going to get a tree. And I'm thinking, oh, we're going to get a tree after all. So she didn't go to the trees. She went to the, when they chop the bottom or they chop off branches, mm -hmm, she's mm -hmm. picking those things up. And I'm thinking, what do we need? The, what are we doing here? Well, she picked up a whole, a whole bunch, and the guy said, just take it. I don't want, you know. So um, Mom brought it home and she had an old mop handle and um, she's tying the branches to this mop handle what goes through my mind is oh, wow. my lord I didn't think you know she did it so you could have the aroma of the tree the trees. yes so turning things around turning things around and this is what we want y'all yes, to know I today know. yes we want you to know that depression uh-uh it's Jesus Christ. Yeah, that's right. He is, he is the one that will bring you out. Thank you again for being with us. And again, write us at Post Office Box 47077, Jacksonville, Florida, 32247. Let us hear from y'all. Bye. Be blessed.